Work. This is my line of work. A crisis of understanding and a crisis of meaning. Work. This is my line of work. 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 Because I've been working on the crisis in here. You start to understand how afraid your elders were. It helps us to manage when we realize how scared everybody is now. Centralized educational systems. He's talking about corporate run, shame, and fear control based systems. Yeah, that's why Jesus had to turn over the tables in the temple. Come on. It's big picture architecture archetypal stuff we're working with here. A corporate screen. I, I can see the beaten heart of the dragon. We're right there, the Death Star its center. We're approaching it. L and to E-O-W, labor and the expression of worth. Traveling Traps, Traveling String Camp, helping you to realize how very simple self-realization really is. <laughs> Just kidding, it's really complex. We're aligning our labor with our deepest understanding of worth courageously. There are those of us who have been so devastated by the human condition that we just couldn't hide our despair. Canaries in the mine falling off their perch. Yeah, it's true, I've been particularly fragile in, 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 in body and in mind. And for many years, those of us who have been like that have looked at you guys who just seem to be doing pretty good and we've been like, oh dear God, I just wish I could be like them. Despair. But then at some point, when, if you're one like me who has made this deep inquiry into the, uh, just the, the human condition and then the, the condition on the inside of, of self and then really taking hu huge levels of responsibility for what's happening here, well, what happens is we start to see the facades that everyone else is putting in. The facade. Are you talking about the Truman Show? You become a student of that. We don't come into that knowledge so that we can point that out in others. It's, it's actually for our own. It helps us to manage when we realize how, how scared everybody is now. So it helps us to kind of like keep our own footing in a world of people who are lying to themselves. We can only be honest with others insofar as we are capable of being honest with ourselves. You start to understand how afraid your elders were is what you start to understand. That these people that were supposed to be, you know, showing you how to live, that they were actually already generations into this fear-based um, control game that humanity's been playing for, well, I guess since civilization started. <laughs> Babylon, the beast, empire strikes back, come on. Centralization of power. You mean like we're born into sin? Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> it's big picture archetypal stuff we're working with here. It's the same stuff that Henry David Thoreau was concerned about back in the 1800s when he wrote Civil Disobedience. Yeah, and also don't forget Ralph Waldo Emerson, Self-Reliance. Them's the transcendentalists. Some say it all started with the transition from the hand plow to beasts of burden. Just don't mention Marx. It makes people scared. I ain't no dang communist. I told you people scared. Stop it, man. Every riff that I do, every attempt to be ironic or every attempt to just like let this creative one flow through me in the production of this content. Well, yeah, I see what you're doing. You've already pissed me off. I just, you, you ain't walking back from that. Mm -mm, they ain't happening. Come on. I just, I, now you feel like, oh, I got to just explain something, but no, it's no, I just, just, just never mind. We have to laugh at ourselves now, don't we? I mean, look, look at this 50 year old man sitting in this chair, speaking to a screen, a corporate screen. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I did see some missiles being exchanged. Exchanged, Trav? Did you just say missiles were exchanged? Isn't that one of those, like, words that you would use. Military industrial complex, dude. That's what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that's language that would be developed and used to soften the hurt from the military industrial complex. For profit wars. To like soften the blow. Soften the blow? What are you talking about? There's ain't no... What must be an incredibly terrifying experience for people on the ground as I was hearing those sirens go off. And then, as I'm watching these things, well, this is part of our confusion right now. 
we don't know what's real, and we don't know about the spin that's being spun on what we may or may not be seeing that's based in reality. Um, I, I saw a video, I, I assume that's happening. There are people suffering in this world. Yes, there are people deeply suffering, it seems, in this world. For many reasons, which many people are describing now, we are having some kind of crisis of understanding and a crisis of meaning. Well, this is my line of work. Because <laughs> I've been working on the crisis in here. They're in the aisle of the king. You are the way you used to. Engines losing power, looking for a place to sit down. Man of the hour, tomorrow he wears that thorny crown. The sky will darken and the moon will bend our will. They're in the eye of the hurricane. Are always still. 